what do we think of this dress can you all please let me know in the comments because i am not sure do i look like a barbie doll does it make my bum <laughs> look 10 times bigger because of the frills i just don't know good morning everybody today is monday and i have one bit of hair that is breaking away from the rest of the clan what is that all about so yeah i haven't seen you since friday i think it was when i filmed my morning routine i hope you guys have enjoyed that video there's also an evening routine that has gone live on the same day as well on the space nk instagram so if you want to go and see my evening routine that is where it is so it won't be on my youtube channel it'll be there but it's a really great video i personally love it there's a bit where i roll off the bed and it just <laughs> I make myself laugh <laughs> at least there's that but yeah so that was the last time i saw you and over the weekend i literally just chilled like wore zero makeup just did a lot of like workouts lots of eating uh what else did i do i really don't remember what i did slightly worrying but we'll roll with it so this morning i've just done a workout i've just changed into this dress which i'm really trying to decide whether i want to keep if i like it i got it in a size eight which was a risky business for me if you've seen the size of my bum you will know why basically it's size 10 on the bottom but now like apparently an eight on the top so just making life really awkward for myself really so yeah i'm just trying to decide if I like it, I had to iron down the frills to try and stop myself looking like a Christmas tree. So I'm not sure if it's the one, so I would love your feedback on it. But it is very cute. I just love the print of this. It's so, so sweet. You guys know I'm loving summer dresses at the moment, but not sure whether it's like particularly weather appropriate today, but I ain't going out, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, might change into like a white long sleeve number, I'm not sure. So yeah, this morning I've worked out, I've done a little bit of work, just been waiting for some phone calls and sod's law, I missed like four phone calls whilst I was just putting like my hair extensions in, which is such a pain. But I thought I'd bring you with me over the next day or so. I'm very excited, I've got some new deliveries to show you today, some home deliveries. So excited to show you these. I've been holding on to these to show you in a video and I've actually been holding off. There's some bed sheets, spoiler. And I've been holding off changing my bed sheets literally because I wanted to like unbox them with you and I don't like to do the unboxing and then like package it all back up. I like to actually like unbox things with you. So I've been holding on to that and desperate to change my bed sheets. I don't know, I'm just really bored at the moment. I like changing my bed sheets and ironing them apparently. Who has the time? Do you know what? My mum used to do it and she had two kids and I just was doing it the other night thinking, why does she do this to herself? Like. Wow. Anyway, I digress because that's a very weird tangent I just got onto. But yeah, I'm going to show you a few bits that I have picked up throughout this vlog. I'm so excited. Oh, so excited. I've just had a delivery of Prosecco glasses arrive. Or champagne glasses, but... I'm more of a Prosecco girl. Tesco's finest, you know. And I'm actually very happy that these have just arrived because it's excellent timing. We are about to have pancakes and Prosecco, which is my new favourite thing. I think I'm just really missing Lauren because I've never in my life been so obsessed with pancakes and Prosecco as I have over the past, like, month or so. It's actually quite a bit later than the last bit of vlogging that you all have seen. And I got a phone call that was telling me that I have exchanged and completed on my house. Woo! And I literally do what I do best in exciting situations where I don't make it fun at all. I go like a little clam and I just don't know what to do and I'm really awkward. And Ryan is like the cutest human being in the world because when things are exciting, he gets really excited. It's one of my favourite things about you is like, I don't know, you just, you get really, like I can see that you're really happy and it makes I'm me really happy. But then at the same time, I'm just like unable to express any emotion because <laughs> apparently I don't know what to do with those. And I literally was like, um, okay, what do I do now? Prosecco and pancakes. Yeah, Prosecco and pancakes is basically, that's, that's it. I need to go call my mum now. I need to go call Lauren because everyone's texting me like, what's going on? Like, where are you? So yeah, I have a lot of people to, to call and FaceTime. And a lot of Prosecco to drink. Woo! Yeah, I actually just really need to drink. Lockdown vibes, you know. Yeah, no, I also just need some pancakes because I'm starving. Because basically I was meant to, we, I, I thought we were going to have pancakes so much earlier and then I got the phone call and I, I was like, oh, okay. So yeah. Eight quid, Tesco's finest. My favourite Prosecco. with these new glasses. 
Yeah. Very happy, yeah. I got these from Amazon. I'll link them in the info box if anyone wants to have a look. They really weren't very expensive at all. Yeah, I like them because they're kind of a similar shape to my fave wine glasses, but not the exact same because I did look at the exact same, but the only ones they had on sale had like writing up them, like celebrate and stuff, and I just couldn't, I couldn't. Yeah, for anyone that's wondering, those are my normal wine glasses. They're kind of like a squared bottom, like a squared base to the glass and I really like them. But yeah, these ones are just like a little bit more of a classic vibe and I really, really like that. Just need to find space in the cupboard to put them now. I think I'm gonna have to sort through some of these mugs because that's a lot. I'm on FaceTime and pouring Prosecco and I'm eating pancakes. Hey everybody. It is the next day. I drank way too much Prosecco yesterday, too early in the day. I'm not a day drinker. Whenever we go out for brunch, I'm always like, this is never gonna end well. I'm not a day drinker at all. A couple of hours in, I need to have a nap. So yeah, this vlog did not continue yesterday. To pick up from where we left off, I have bought a house. And I'm now very overwhelmed by all of the messages that I'm getting. Basically, I'm having to work my way through a lot of friends and family that are like DMing me, being really excited, and I'm still in that really awkward phase where I don't really know how to be excited. Does anyone else get this? Is it just me? Why am I like this? <laughs> so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a backstory about how we got to this point because I've been really cagey up until now. Sorry, I'm gonna keep looking away because I find like, I don't know, I've been so used to holding on to this for so long that it feels really alien to actually finally be talking about it on camera. So I keep like looking off into the distance. Yeah, so this has been my like baby for a really long time now. And it's something that only me and kind of my closest friends have known about. And it feels so weird to actually be telling you. It still feels like I shouldn't be telling you, even though it's fine to tell you now. I couldn't tell you for a really long time in case things fell through. Cause that's just like a little bit of a disappointment, isn't it really? If I tell you guys that I've definitely got a house and then it just for some reason doesn't happen which there was so small chance of that happening because there was no bidding war over this like nothing it was very easy as far as like houses go i feel like like normally you have like another offer that comes in and people are just like back and forth over money and i did have that with a couple of other properties so this wasn't the first one that i liked so there was one that i saw i think it was one of the first properties i viewed round about it was vlogmas wasn't it so yeah that one was really interesting <laughs> there was like bedroom style doors just all the way along like and then there was a secret staircase behind it and it was the weirdest weirdest house but it was cool and i liked it and i felt like it was a good reno property a good shell to have so yeah i was really interested in that one but the owner wanted a lot of money for something that needed a lot of work and they'd started like doing work to it but didn't have planning permission and stuff like that so it was a, a, a big kind of risky property so yeah that one i liked but that didn't go ahead and i'm really glad that it didn't now because if that had gone ahead and i'd be like looking uh, potentially moving in soon into that one with not everyone being able to work to full capacity or at all then that would have been an absolute nightmare so yeah if i'd have been moving in over the summer and obviously i don't know what's going to happen over the summer or whether people are going to be allowed back to work or whatever but that would have been not a very nice house to live in during a lockdown so i'm really really glad that that one didn't happen yeah so the second one that i liked was also a very big project but slightly more just like fixing up and then like a few little renovations here and there but the majority of the rooms were good and to like a standard that I would like and there was like minimal painting and flooring that needed to be done which was great yeah that one it just there was a lot of back and forth over it no other offers I don't oh there was one other offer but that was after I'd like completely moved on and they kept calling me back like they're still calling me back now it's like are you sure are you sure you don't want this property and I'm like no I don't I don't want it but yeah that one was lovely but I feel like even though it was cheaper I would have spent a lot more money on doing it up than I could ever have expected. Like we were just really not sure that there wouldn't be like hidden issues with that property. So we kind of had to have that in mind when we were negotiating and it just, it didn't happen. And I'm actually really glad about that as well. Cause that one probably, if there was a lot that needed doing right now would have been a bit of a ball lake again, when people can't work. So yeah, that one, there was a lot of like negotiating with the owner of a price and I just got to the point where I was like, you are taking the piss out of me, let's just park this. And by that point I was really struggling to find something that suited me, that I liked. I guess you could say I was slightly picky with what I wanted and especially for my budget. Most people were like, you're gonna struggle to find what you want within your budget. But I did it, I did it. I always do this multiple times throughout my life and it always, this is the way it always works. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna have one last search and then I'm giving up and yeah. 
that was how I found the house that I'm moving into now. And I'm not going to give you too much information on it as of yet because I feel like I want you to like see it. But this place I'm so excited to move into and it doesn't need like it's not a shell. It's a shell in terms of other ways but not in terms of like it's a property that hasn't been touched for like 40 years and needs like a lot of TLC. This place just kind of needs like bits here and there and that's so much better than um, having to do like install heating, like plumbing, plumbing you know what I mean but there's no major renovations that needs to be done and that is fantastic I cannot imagine having moved into the two other properties that I was like after right now that would be stressing me so so much there was one other property actually but it was on a hill <laughs> and that's the stupidest thing my mum really thought like we would viewed all of the properties together I think bar one and it was literally down the road from my mum's house and I was like this is way too close way too close to the other one that I saw I literally saw it after the house that I bought now and my mum was like yeah she's gonna go for this one she's absolutely gonna go for this one and on paper like in the photos it was like my dream home it had like the flooring I want that was like already done it was beautiful and it was on a hill and I really like stressed myself out when I was parking that was it that was it yeah I'm not a very good parker so actually no I am I just get I'm, I'm a perfectionist so I get really stressed out parking yeah so that was why that one didn't happen and yeah I think you could definitely say that I was very very particular over what I wanted but magically like when I viewed this house I walked in and was like yeah it's nice yeah don't want it like, and then went away sat on that for a few hours and I was like you know I actually really did like that house like that house was perfect that house was everything that i wanted everything that i've been saying i wanted from the start of my like house search and my mum was sitting there like yeah hon yeah it was <laughs> that is how i came to make my choice i actually took looking at what i thought was my dream home and realizing that my dream home wasn't my dream home to find my dream home yeah i'm really excited i feel like it's such a great property it's got like potential to do more to it to add value to it but also just to live in for the time being it is like perfect so yeah i'm very 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 excited i feel like now i've said all of that like i feel less nervous about talking about it on camera because i've just i think i've told you everything that i can tell you so far but yeah i did have to be very cagey about it and still do to a certain extent because i just don't want to give too much away quite yet i'm literally waiting for something like a which should have happened by the time this video is live but i'm just literally waiting for a green light and then i can just like start giving you tours and that will be so exciting so yeah i've bought a house and that is just that's mad that is actually mad you know sometimes you envision things that are going to happen throughout your life and how they're going to happen like i don't know maybe this is like definitely a girl thing but you know when you're growing up you like picture what your wedding might look like or this or that i never really pictured my house like the house that i would actually buy and i don't think i ever actually pictured buying it on my own so this just feels really mad to me i don't feel like you've had a i've made it moment because i never really expected to be doing this so it just feels really really strange but really exciting and i'm very very proud of myself i'm really excited now i actually feel like much calmer now i've talked it through i just can't deal i cannot deal with having secrets from you guys it makes me feel so uncomfortable and it's a real shame that youtubers have to keep these things a secret and there's a small selection of people that really spoil it for everyone in terms of like just being creepy yeah it's such a shame because i could just dish out all the information if people weren't creepy af but I'm really excited to show you as much as I can and you guys know I like to be very very open with you guys so as soon as I can like give you more info I 100% will. But I feel like there's going to be so many questions based on what I've said before and I will kind of like reveal more as things go on. Some people thought I was going traveling, <laughs> some people thought I was building a house, I'm not doing either of those things but everything that I have made sense and all the planning that I'm having to do will make sense to you in the next few weeks. Why did I just thumbs up you? Wow, <laughs> what am I doing? I'm so awkward. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you some of the bits that have arrived for the house this week because I'm really excited to show you. This is tricky to balance. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to get started with the things that aren't in packaging. So these came the other day. If you follow me on my home account, which is Hello October at Home, you'll know that I asked for tea towel recommendations, basically. Mine are literally disgusting because I haven't bought any in, I want to say like three years. So I was definitely overdue and i was really struggling with what would go in my kitchen and i have since had 
a brainwave courtesy of my mother she has these little things on the inside of her cupboard doors where you can put your like tea towels they're like you kind of like poke the tea towel in and it holds it and so when you open the cupboard door they're just all hanging there which is amazing so i feel like that will come in handy but these are going to be more the ones that i have out and these are a great choice because hopefully they will just stay a bit nicer for longer whereas some of my others have been lighter colors and especially when you're a big coffee drinker and ryan will just like clean up with a tea towel they get stained so so quickly so i'm hoping these last a little bit longer but i was really struggling also to find a tea towel that just looked nice in the kitchen that is in the house and i know these aren't the prettiest to look at but when you see the kitchen it will all make sense yeah and i'll talk to you a bit more about that when we're actually in the kitchen i'm very excited about this package so you guys will know why not open this scissors are going to be needed i just can't do this so you guys will know that i in moments of special occasions like to treat myself to little bits so i thought i'd treat both myself and the house to a little something so you guys will know that i love a little space in k-hall and they actually are really good for little home bits so i get like the majority of my soaps from there there's a lot of diffusers that i love from there i you guys will know i love diffusers and there's just a couple of other little bits that I needed a top up of and they kind of come within the home area most of them there's one that i would maybe consider not it's more for my head but yeah i picked up a few things That's in case. so excited okay first up we have some new silk pillowcases now some of you will know if you've watched the other vlogs that i actually just got sent a set as well but I'd already picked these up and I'm so glad I did because now I have a couple of sets of silk pillowcases which I'm really really happy about because honestly I've noticed such a difference in how manageable my hair is and how much less frizzy it is after sleeping on the silk pillowcases. Yeah I haven't really noticed too much of a difference in my skin yet. I know a lot of people say that they see a massive difference in their skin. I haven't. I don't tend to be one of those people that wakes up with like creases on their face too often. Like I know that I've had a very good night's sleep. Like I've been like dead to the world if I wake up with a crease on my face but generally I'm not that great a sleeper anymore sadly. Anyway picked up some silk pillowcases from Slip and I love Slip as a brand. I just really like their scrunchies which I have also picked up some of. That was the thing that was more for my head than the house. So yeah, two silk pillowcases. They look such beautiful quality. Love them. Really excited to get those on my bed, which is good because I'm going to change my bedding, I think, today. Hopefully, if I get the time. I've got quite a busy day today, weirdly. I knew this would happen as soon as I've got the keys to the house. Everything would just, my, the rest of my life would start being really busy as well. So scrunchy. Basically, I just can't find half my scrunchies and I'm really sad about it. Like even my big, really ridiculously expensive velvet one, can't find it. Hoping I'll find it during the move. You'd be worried if I didn't really, wouldn't you? But yeah, I like this packet because it's got the black, the nude, and then this really cute pink one. So cute. Yeah, I just love those. They feel amazing and then they're really good for like not damaging your hair when you tie it up. And then they don't really leave a kink in it either, which is incredible. And my hair is that kind of very malleable texture that you know you'll put it up and it will kink like immediately so yeah i love my silk scrunchies highly recommend those they also do little ones as well which are fantastic if you don't really want to look like you're wearing a scrunchie i then also picked up the reverence duo from aesop so these are my favorite of all the aesop soaps they're incredible everyone that comes around my house when they use this when i have it because I've actually been struggling to get this one in particular for such a long time. It's been out of stock everywhere. So the other ones I picked up a few months back are the Resurrection. Yeah, Resurrection, I believe. So they don't have like a scrubby feel, whereas the Reverence Hand Wash, I was just checking, I wasn't showing you hand balm. This has like little scrubby bits in it and it smells incredible. And it's honestly just the best thing ever. Everyone that uses this soap like comments on it and they're like, oh my God, this soap is amazing. And I'm like, yeah. I know. So yeah, I'm really excited to have a new set of these and I'm going to be taking those to the new house as soon as possible because we need soap everywhere. We also need the hand balm that goes with it because my hands are dry. We then also picked up the clean reed diffuser in the scent Fresh Linens. So this I am going to wait to open until I move. It already smells amazing. Oh my God. That is gorgeous. It's almost like... It's clean linens, but there's almost like an orangey something. Crafted with sustainable notes of vetiver. That's probably what I can smell. Ooh. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's really like fresh, almost like lemony linen. Oh my God, you know what it smells like? What are those little lemon drizzle cakes? It smells like lemon drizzle cakes. 
like a mixture of clean linen and someone it smells like the house of some really glorious housewife that has just done all her washing and then baked a lemon drizzle cake i want to be that woman i want to be that woman i'm not that woman i'm not that domesticated so i'm just gonna let the reed diffuser do it for me okay i've just made an absolute mess yeah i've got my soaps i've got my reed diffusers i've got my pillowcases and i've got my tea towels so far okay i'm going to show you the next one i'm going to leave my favorite till last if i can find my scissors so this this package is quite big i don't know how i'm going to show you this to be honest so i have some new pillowcases for my giant i get a lot of questions on the size of those pillows the big ones on my bed are 75 by 75 i believe or 65 by 65 basically big square and dusk are one of the few companies that i found that do a pillowcase that fits them perfectly so i think this is the twilight range so it basically has a gray side which is very similar to what i have already but it also has a white side and it's in the same kind of like lined stitching as i already have but i just thought this would be perfect to alternate between um, depending on how i feel and how i want to dress my bedroom i'm so so excited to get those on my pillows so i have two of those and then i also have the throw it is the throw which is very similar to the silver one that i have but in white um, and i'm very happy about that so full transparency they were gifted to me very very kind of them the dusk team are so so lovely honestly the nicest team like we're always just like chatting on instagram and i'll be like oh i love that bedding and they'll be like do you want to try it and they also emailed me to say when they sent out the twilight i believe it's the twilight bedding i will correct myself on the screen if i am wrong i don't think i am but i think they also sent in their email to me that they'd sent me something else that they were excited for me to try as well so let's see okay so we've got oh some fitted sheets amazing and we've got the I want to say this is Marcel duvet cover, which looks lovely. It's got like some kind of like seams across the top. That looks really cute. So I think that was the one that they said they were sending in addition to a top up of the Mayfair bed sheets, which are the bed sheets that I just already have. All of my old bed sheets are up here. Actually, you can't see them. I don't know if you can tell. They're meant to be white. Like they're meant to match the color of the walls. And there's only one of those bed sheets that matches the color of the walls. So they very kindly sent me a top up of the Mayfair bed sheets so that I could alternate between the two. So one can be in the wash and one can be on the bed. Because I hate, don't you hate it when you wash bed sheets and you've got like one of your favorite bed sheets and you don't want to put some of your grubby bed sheets on. So you just have to like wait it out until they're dry and it's just really annoying. I know that's a real non-issue by the way. I know that's not a problem. So yeah, we have the Mayfair bed sheets and then the Marcel pillowcases. You see that's the kind of effect the Marcel has across it. So just at the top and at the edges of the pillowcase, it's got like what I want to call seams, like extra seams, like they're layered layered seams and then we have the mayfair pillowcases as well Woo so i am probably going to put that on my bedding tonight if i have time fingers crossed yeah and i'll show you either tonight or tomorrow morning i kind of like to show you in daylight because i feel like you can't see things as well in the evening but i've got like quite a strict schedule that i need to follow today and i've got people i need to speak to and stuff i need to do so we have bedding i'm so excited about that and then oh these boxes are stuck together and that's really worrying me this is not gonna work so i can't show you both but you don't need to see both just like flakes and stuff. Sometimes it spikes you, like what is that? So these are my new lights. This is my new pendant lighting, which it's really hard to show you because I don't want to like completely unwrap everything because I just don't want anything to like clunk about in the moving process and break. But the hardware is like this silver. It's almost like a dull silver. And I really like that because I'm kind of gonna go for like a pewtery like accent you know like some people pick like brass antique gold that kind of that kind of vibe i'm gonna go for like a pewter so it's just like a little bit cooler and a little bit less like dressy i just want everything to be quite like a relaxed vibe this wouldn't be my color of choice normally but you will see why this is the color of choice that i've gone for with this light i love this style i absolutely love this style i just i think in a different world i wouldn't have gone for a gray but it was like the perfect Thing to tie in in the space there's basically already pendant lighting and i'll show you the pendant lighting at some point but it's it's lovely it's just not my vibe it would have been something that lots of you that have followed me for a long time will have known that i would have loved maybe like four years ago i would have absolutely loved it and been like oh my god this is like the dream it's like not perfect to my taste now so i thought i just 
update the lighting a little bit. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. I think it's really cute. What do you think? So I'm gonna wrap this back up. That is everything I have to show you. I do have, obviously, like I said, I have two of these. So there's gonna be two. Sad person. Very excited. Just need to get them to my new house now without breaking them. I also have one other item that I'm not gonna show you right now because it's wrapped up in its box and it is humongous, like absolutely humongous. And I'm a bit scared that once it's out, I just won't be able to like, get it back in properly and it's something that I really want to stay very very safe. I'm sure you guys can probably guess like the type of item that it is based on that very breakable description but yeah I'm super excited about that. It's just a little bit more work than I originally kind of like anticipated but it's gonna be all good. Right that's all nicely wrapped up. So I'm gonna clean up this mess and I will speak to you guys in a little bit. Good morning everybody so it is Thursday. I was woken up by my brain in the very early hours of the morning this morning. I had horrible nightmares and then woke up thinking about flooring and it was just like, you know when it's just like just light and you're like, wow, I'm up really early and I was just not okay with it. And I didn't go to bed until very, very late as well. So that's just like the real killer of the situation. I don't, I love getting up early normally, but not today. So today we're just gonna tackle the dreaded food shop as usual. And I'm gonna love you and leave you because you don't wanna speak to me today. Cause trust me, I'm not, I'm not cute today. But I wanted to show you my bedding just before I went. So we've done a very quick job of this this morning because CBA, but this is the, what the white twilight kind of accessories look like and then we've got the Mayfair bedding on the bed and then our silk lily silk pillowcases at the back which are the pillowcases that we like actually sleep on the bedroom's just looking a mess at the moment so I'm going to keep this brief that pillow needs a better chop things I spend my life doing in lockdown I mean that's still not ideal anyway yeah that is the vibe of it it also has grey on the other side so you could switch it around if you wanted to. I really like it, I just think it's a bit brighter than the other set, which I think the other set will look amazing if you've got a very bright, large room. But this room is quite small, so I think like on some days, especially when it's a bit like darker, like if it's meant to be like cloudy or weak, I think the Twilight set is a better set than the Manhattan just because it kind of brightens up the space. Thank you very much to Dusk for treating me. I really love this bedding, it's so great. It does need an iron, I'm gonna get to that later. But yeah, that's where I'm going to wrap things up today. I would have loved to have chatted for longer, but I feel like I already chatted for so long. So I'm going to love you and leave you here. And hopefully I will see you. I'll start filming again tomorrow, I think. And hopefully I'll be a little bit more well rested as well. I just literally feel like a potato today. Like, you know, when like your eyes feel puffy and your everything about you just feels meh and you just look at yourself and you're like, today is not the one. So yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys again very, very soon.